Welcome to the eMotion LV1 video tutorials. eMotion LV1 is part of a network that consists of a host computer, an Ethernet switch, IOs, and a server. All I.O. devices that are directly part of this network synchronize their clocks using Sync over Ethernet, which is usually called SOE. In any digital network, one device must be the clock master. When you begin assigning I.O. devices to the mixer, the first device assigned is, by default, the SOE master. All others will be assigned as slaves. You can make any I.O. device the SOE clock master by using the Set Master menu item on the device rack slot. The device's position in the rack or the physical location of the hardware are unimportant when assigning clock master status. The SOE clock master sets the sample rate for all devices in the system. Everything locked to SOE will adjust to that sample rate. But the clock master doesn't necessarily determine what that sample rate will be. That's ruled by the sample rate master. The sample rate master can be the eMotion LV1 software or another system that's providing clock. There are two drop down menus that control how sample rate is set. This menu controls whether the eMotion LV1 mixer is the sample rate master or a slave. It determines how the sample rate of the whole system is established. When the eMotion LV1 software is the sample rate master, this menu will tell the clock master how to set its sample rate. This, in turn, changes the sample rate of all sound grid devices in the SOE network. If the SOE clock master is locked to another source that has a different sample rate than the one requested, it may not be able to comply. It will check all of its external clock sources, such as AES, SPDIF, or word clock, looking for the sample rate that matches the sample rate master's request. If none of the external sources provide the sample rate that it's looking for, the SOE master will switch to its internal clock so that it can provide the sample rate requested. This process varies depending on network configuration and the hardware you're using. When the menu is set to slave mode, the sample rate of the mixer and all its devices is determined by another system. The menu is disabled when the mixer is the sample rate slave. In this example, the eMotion LV1's clock master is locked to a hardware clock generator. The SOE clock master distributes this sample rate to all the other SOE devices. In this condition, LV1 is the sample rate slave. Should the sample rate of the hardware clock generator change, then eMotion LV1 will automatically adjust its own sample rate to match that of the SOE master. The sample rate of the clock master device can usually be set from its control panel. In this video, we've seen how eMotion LV1 manages sample rate within its SOE network. This like any digital audio network, must have a clock master device, a way to set the sample rate, and finally, a way to determine who's in charge of that. Refer to the eMotion LV1 user guide for more information. The next two lessons are about the mixer settings and user interface settings pages. These are used to set mixer preferences and to control its behavior. Thanks for watching this eMotion LV1 video tutorial. See you next time.